Hey, what up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you. I noticed that there was a report out there basically saying that John Cena wasn't going to be at Monday Night Raw this week, which honestly really, really surprises me. I know that everybody out there has heard, uh, you know, everybody going crazy at WWE about the uh, down network numbers not being as high as people thought that they would or should have been. Um, but honestly, as you can see, the only thing they're really pushing for the Survivor Series main event right now is Team Cena against the Authority. And I, I don't understand how you pull John Cena from the show uh, and seeing how he's supposed to be putting together his team uh, that, that's going out there. A lot of people saw that Dolph Ziggler pretty much de teamed up with him as well. They had their moment of the handshake in the back. Uh, then uh, Ziggler came out to help Cena at the end. Uh, and try to run off the authority, and it was them two battling against Kane and uh, Seth Rollins. Uh, Randy Orton out there is still is a, is a big question mark. You also got Ryback out there who made his debut against Bo Dallas on Monday. A lot of people questioning if, if uh, uh, Ryback is a babyface, if, if he's going to be teaming up with John Cena at the show. I don't understand how you're going to be able to put together a good three-hour show without Cena being there, without being the main event of what's going down at Survivor Series. Trying to get everybody to join the network uh, to see this show because it's the only place that you can get it. And uh, how you're going to have some sort of a dual thing. I think that maybe they could be running with Randy Orton is your main storyline, seeing if he's going to be with or against Triple H and uh, Seth Rollins. Um, but I'm just wondering how far you're going to be able to stretch that. I mean, at the very beginning of the show, you saw Randy Orton hit the RKO out of nowhere on Seth Rollins, leaving him laying and then not really mentioning anything about that for the rest of the show. So, uh, no Cena on Raw. Um, at the end of the day, I think that uh, Randy Orton is going to stay with the authority. I think that Ryback will tend to go over. Um, to the babyface John Cena side, and then more than likely I've heard people talking about putting the Usos and uh, the Dust Brothers uh, to finish out these five-on-five -five teams. So we're going to have to see where we go from there, but uh, for all you John Cena fans, can't see him on Monday. <laughs> kind of weird, you know, trying to pump up these numbers, trying to make you have these uh, shows uh, be all must-see, so that way once you get off of there, you can go over to the network and watch the uh, new Rivalry series or the uh, Monday Night War series that's going down. And... Uh, I don't know. It's free. It rolls out to, to the UK um, sooner than later. Uh, I think in two days. So that's going to be big numbers, hopefully, for them rolling it in. I know a lot of people that I follow on Twitter uh, that live over there are excited to finally get it. And a lot of people don't even know what they're really getting either. So uh, more to come on that. And uh, we'll see what we can see uh, before then. But as of right now, no John Cena. You can't see him on Monday night. That's just how it's got to be.